you guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we got a quick little project to do for an arbor support for the Induma horizontal. So I have a 7 8 arbor and I have a couple 7 8 cutters that I want to make use of this arbor on. Fortunately right now I don't have any spacers for it or the uh, steel bushing that rides up in the brass bushing on the overarm support. So I'm taking one of this, one of the inch and a quarter spacers. I'm going to model a spacer off of that diameter with a 7 8 bore that I can use on this arbor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of, uh, this I believe is 4140, um, and we're going to turn this to 1.875 OD, which is right now the diameter on this part. So I'll just check that again. And I haven't tested the bore on the overarm support with the, uh, with the telescoping gauge yet, but this is reading right now a thou under inch and 7 8 So uh, we'll get, we're going to go ahead and take this part, we're going to drill it, uh, 55 64 just drill bit size under 7 8 and then we'll go ahead and take a 7 8 re reamer. And right now I have sleeves on these from Morse Taper 2 to Morse Taper 3. We'll go ahead and ream that hole out, and then we'll go ahead and put this onto this arbor. Um, Maybe before that we'll broach a key in here so we could drive it on this arbor and then on the lathe I'll actually turn the diameter of this true with the arbor so then I can have a good reference point so the bushing will ride true. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the lathe, face off this part, and then uh, go ahead and drill that hole and ream it. And I'm going to be using a DNMG cutting tool. It's a DNMG 345 I believe. Um, it's a ferrous cutter and it does a good job on this material. I don't have an eighth inch broach for this right now because most of the seven eighths tooling takes eighth inch keyways, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I may have one in another shop I can bring over real quick, but um, we'll get to that in a couple minutes. But uh, otherwise, the length of this bushing I'm not too worried about because the overarm support is roughly two inches long where the bushing end is, and this is obviously much longer than that. And in this piece right here, uh, we have just over two and a half. So I'm not too concerned with this piece of material being that much shorter than that to distribute the load fine. Um, at the end, what I'll do is I'll leave about uh, 5,000 OD extra and then tool post grind that to size so we can uh, get a nice bearing surface on that and it'll ride in the bushing really smooth. So uh, let's get going. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna get started. Uh, 630 RPM, we're gonna come in and face this part off. And what we'll do is we'll come in, I'm going to lock my saddle and feed in with the compound. Feed in a little more. I'm not taking too heavy of a cut. I just want to see that this will clean up fairly well so I can have a flat surface to reference off of when I put it against the back edge of the truck to the other side. And we'll go ahead and power feed on the back. this cutter I tend to get a better finish on the back face. Um, I wish I had TNMG tooling for this lathe because this is probably the best stuff you could use for facing, but I'll be pretty happy with that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and drill out this hole to 55 64 Once again, that's the size under 7 8 so we have enough material to ream. I'm at 250 RPM, and we'll come in a little closer, and then start drilling. Here we go, we're going to ream this now to 7 8 and I got this running at 250 RPM and I'm going to go with a fairly fast feed. Again, this is a 64th um, undersized hole right now to 7 8 but uh, the reamer is 7 8 so we're going to brush on a lot of oil on there. The reamers love oil. Um, 
and from there we'll go ahead and start plunging. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and take uh, the bulk of this diameter down. We're going to get this diameter fairly even with this. Uh, right now you'll see a little run out because uh, on the outside diameter, like I said before, I, it wasn't critical. I haven't actually touched it off yet, but uh, we'll go ahead and start cutting. So this is a DNMG carbide insert, and we're going to take start off probably about 100 thou cuts. Get a zero off there, and I'll feed in 100 thousandths. And we'll see how this thing does taking that big of a cut. Handles are fine. Chip load's not too bad. Um, I'm not running coolant for the purpose of the video because uh, it would splash all over the place and I don't I don't have a, a drop type coolant, I have a pressure type coolant, so it would really make uh, quite the splatter. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, dress this tool post grinder stone. Uh, it's a fairly coarse one. Uh, should take a couple passes. Go ahead and remove the uh, dresser. This is a diamond tip dresser for the stone. Get that off. Now you can start tool post grinding.
guys. So we got the arbor bushing all done. Um, this is a spacer and a bushing. And what's nice is it fits right on the 7 8 arbor. We reamed that to size, beginning of the video. Um, then from there, I actually used this arbor, turned this to size, faced it, then got to use the uh, cool dual tool post grinder. It got us a nice ground finish on this part, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, the finish is perfect. Uh, we got it to be exactly 5 tenths under uh, 0.1, uh, 1.875, so just under 1 and 7 eighths. And this is like a perfect fit into this bushing on the front end for this overarm support. So now I have access and I can now use my 7 8 arbor. And uh, I know the spacers I have on here aren't the nicest. They're uh, black iron pipe I, uh, that was 3 quarter and I drilled and reamed them to 7 8 But unfortunately I didn't have any 7 8 bushings for this. And I haven't gotten around to making them yet. And uh, they are fairly expensive so I will probably make a video on making some of those. But at least now I can go ahead and use like the 48 pitch and 32 pitch gear cutters I have and uh, we can make use of that on this arbor and get some work done for some of the projects we have here around the shop. Um, in the middle of the video I showed using the tool post grinder stone dresser and that this is it's just a diamond uh, tipped dresser and what it does is it gives us a flat surface to reference off of for the stone so when we're grinding um, the stone is round, balanced fairly and uh, will give us a good finish. Took off total with the grinder about 12 thousandths of an inch. Uh, we left excess on there uh, just so I'd have enough to pull it into the size so we can get it to be exactly what we need for this board. Uh, these diamond tip dressers are pretty awesome. It's amazing to watch these dress a wheel. It changes the color almost instantly. But otherwise, I guess that's a wrap, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Please uh, like and subscribe if you're interested in this content, and uh, catch you guys later.